talk about a Hilti tool, the NPR32. Before I get into the, everybody hear me okay? Yeah. Good? Yeah. Okay. Uh, before I get into the tool, I want to talk a little bit about the application. So in the previous station, I was, I've been talking to you now for you know, January, now June, about taking corded applications, giving contractors the ability to work cordless, helping them be more productive, helping, helping them be safer, these different uh, topics, right? In this topic, we're, in this station, we're not necessarily talking about converting a corded application over to cordless. We are, however, still talking about giving contractors the ability to work safer, to be more productive by changing the way they work. In this case, we're going from, or we're offering co contractors the opportunity to go from a traditional method of installation to a cordless method of installation. So what we're doing here is we are um, connecting copper pipe. And you see many different fittings that we've connected and cut here. If you'd like to take one of these with you, um, when we're finished, feel free to do so as a, as a little souvenir uh, of this station. Okay, so behind me I have what would be the mock-up of an of a interior framing wall or the, the wall inside of a building before the sheetrock goes on. You see the copper pipe run here, you see different uh, stub outs or different connections to allow for different water lines to go different places. This is common, this happens in just about every building in North America and has, I want to ask, has anyone sweated copper pipe? So a couple of you have. Tell me about that process. Horrible. Slow. <laughs> Horrible. Slow. Slow. Uncertain. Uncertain. Okay, so you're, you're really take, helping me out with the presentation. So slow, um, unproductive, difficult, uh, uncertain, right? All of yeah, those I mean, things. And, and, and why is that? Because we have to have flame, we have to have a manual person process doing this. So let's walk through what we're talking about for everyone who, who has not been through this application before. To connect these copper pipes when I have a fitting or I need to make a turn or I need an elbow or I need to stub out, that means I'm going to have to add a connector. So I would have a copper pipe like this and I would need to connect to let's say a T. Okay, they do fit together but that's not all there is. If I did that it would leak. So the process to do that is to first clean it. So I've cut my copper pipe, now I have to clean it. So I have my wire brush, I'm gonna clean it. Clean the inside. And I'm, I'm looking to get any burrs off here, just looking to make sure I have a clean surface now, uh, eventually to, um, to, saw, to, to, I'm sorry, to, uh, to sweat to. Okay. Next step is I would take my flux, right? And I would dip my finger in because most of the time my contractor has lost the brush and need to also here, okay, so I could put this together. Andrew is my product manager for this product, so he is gonna help me if I am making a mistake. Actually, Andrew, I'm supposed to be yeah, I'm supposed to be going there. Whoop! I cleaned the wrong one, didn't I? By that time, it's coffee break already. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, good. So I'm not. Um, you could you could say that I am a new. Uh, I'm a new person doing this job, which is is actually probably pretty accurate of what happens. So now I have my soldering material. Got my gloves. I got my glasses on. Now I'm going to need a heat source. 
Keep in mind in commercial construction, I often wouldn't have access to the back side of this uh, wall. There's also going to be a flame and there's also wood, wood studs. So I'm gonna to try to do this without access to the back. Um, I may have to step back there, but I'm gonna try. So I'm gonna turn my flame on. Oops. Okay, a master plumber would obviously be faster at this than I am, but let's just say I represent the, uh, the new guy on the job that may be given this task. So um, we've, we've been through what a traditional method of installation or, or of connecting these copper pipes might look like. Now we're gonna move to what happens next. So in the real world, the contractor or the customer would run a length of this pipe and then you might eyeball it or you might judge whether the connection looks to be secure, but to know for sure, they would pressure test the, the length of pipe. And so I um, am going to represent that. This section here, if you come up and look at it, it, it looks pretty good. Um, Andrew did this one, not myself, but um, we purposely left some leaks in it because we want you to see what can happen. I think somebody said security or safety or right peace of mind. And so what I'm going to do there is I'm gonna connect a water source to the end here, to the tester, and I'm gonna pressurize. Essentially what the contractor would do is now they would pressurize this copper pipe. go far enough to let you see that our, our work was not uh, the best and we actually had some leaks. This is uh, probably a, a little bit of an over exaggeration. You probably wouldn't have this many leaks, but we wanted to show you what, uh, what actually happens in the real world, the testing process. Now, if I did determine to have a leak, which I did in this case, I can't go back and immediately sweat that copper while it's wet. I have to have it dry and then have to go through the heating process, have to go through that entire process I went through. Okay, that's good. Um, I think I can just leave that set for now and maybe take the pressure off. Am I good? Okay. Good. So next I think we introduced the new technology, correct? Can we do the video? Is it working? So as David showed you, this is an improperly installed copper tubing. We're going to show you how the Hilti tool solves exactly that. The NPR 32 A22 cordless press tool is designed for both professional and novice mechanical needs. This cordless press tool helps allow the user to install water and air supply lines without the need for skilled knowledge in sweating installation. It also reduces the quality control issues associated with traditional soldering and brazing methods when installing copper tubing. 
The NPR32 uses press technology to crimp the copper fittings together rather than using heat and solder techniques to connect them. This eliminates the need for open flames and fumes during maintenance work. The tool's inline design and rotating head allows the user to get to those hard to reach places along with a built-in LED light to illuminate dark areas. The NPR32 is also covered under Hilti's industry-leading 22-1 warranty. A professional-grade tool that is easy for all users, the NPR32 A22 is the ideal solution for better productivity and more reliability on your next mechanical project. Put it down so it's done? Mm -hmm. Okay. it and then you can just, rest just it. pop it up open up so we're good here okay then we could um, I'll get you another piece let's get a long piece here for you now you would connect here same same exact procedure perfect so you notice when you get done it kind of oh, releases actually... itself oh I see that it's closing down on the hex. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. It's nice and solid. It's great. Got that. So then let's, uh, let's do a T or an elbow. I'm pretty sure I just became air from the cabinet hub. So now you could do an elbow. Awesome. And so on, so on. Yeah, <laughs> this is a piece of cake.